So the next project uh, that I'm going to get started on today, uh, I'm not really going to do a whole lot, but I wanted to make sure I filmed just because I'm going to be doing something. Um, so anyways, the next project I'm going to be doing is the fire pit. Uh, basically right where I'm standing is kind of in the corner. Uh, the barn is just over there. Our house is going to be just over here, which I'll show you in just a second. Uh, but we wanted to have the fire pit in just kind of a centrally located uh, area, you know, easy access. My dad's house will just be right behind where you are um so we got some old railroad ties up at the front that got left behind basically i'm going to use those railroad ties to our advantage just create a perimeter with them uh, we'll probably end up filling it with some kind of uh you know gravel or something like that put a little fire pit ring and then maybe we might do some string lights stuff like that um so right now all i'm going to do is just hop on the tractor go move those railroad ties over here and uh, kind of drop them in place morning so it is uh september 7th just to give you guys a time frame i know that it's been a little while since i said anything about this project so today i'm gonna be working on the fire pit a little bit because as you can see my dad's rv is here so he uh should be moving onto the property today or tomorrow we have the electricians out today uh, they're gonna put all the final pieces together on the electrical box and uh, then we'll be able to get the well pumping. So uh, we are super close to living on the property. Uh, but today we're gonna work on the fire pit just cause we're uh, looking for something to do. So um, right here is kind of where it's gonna go. Um, gonna get the box blade out and uh, level it out. All right, so I made my first pass there with the box blade and then I decided to let my dad do it so that I can film. So. Uh, I'm going to just do a little time lapse here while he um, runs the blade. We're just going to get all that grass up and move a little bit of dirt around because where he is right now is a low spot. Uh, and then we'll start moving the railroad ties. So we just brought over a couple loads of dirt from the pond. Um, the area that the dirt is uh, right there is a low spot. So we're just gonna kind of spread it around, try to level it out a little bit, just kind of by eye. Uh, nothing too crazy, but we got most of the weeds gone, spread the dirt out a little bit, and then we'll uh, place the railroad ties. We've brought uh, probably about, I think seven or eight loads of dirt over here so far. Started leveling it out with the rakes, um, using that telephone pole over there, just kind of as a guide, just trying to get the basic uh, level. But it looks like we're probably gonna need another <laughs> six or seven loads of dirt. So 
it was definitely a lot more of a slope than it looked like but we're just kind of trying to orient it still so as you can see we have uh, our four corners made and the goal was we kind of wanted it facing right into that corner where the trees are just because the way that it presents itself it looks nice so we're going to start moving telephone or the uh, railroad ties and start leveling it out Just like that, it's almost a square. <laughs> We're gonna have to do some adjusting and some leveling and stuff. But as you can see, that's kind of basically what it'll look like. That is where all the railroad ties used to be. And panning over, boom, look at that. Not bad for a day's work. So um, basically that little hole in the middle that you can see, you can tell it's lower. That's where the actual fire pit's gonna go. Um, so we didn't fill that up. <clears throat> We're probably just going to use cinder blocks and uh, make a nice square fire pit. So still got a little bit of work to do, but not bad for a day. And as you can see from way back here, we chose that spot because it's just kind of tucked right in that corner. Very scenic, just a really good spot. Our house is going to be kind of right in here, so it'll be a quick little walk. So it's been a little while since we um, kind of actually did this fire pit. We've been out here enjoying it, as you can see, by all the chairs and the tiki torches. Um, this first hole, he pretty much already got started before I got here. But uh, just right there in each corner, we're going to get one more railroad tie, drop it down there, and we'll do that in all four corners. <clears throat> so that we can hang up some string lights and just make it a little bit nicer at nighttime. All right, well, I'm still breathing a little heavy, but uh, got the first one installed. As I'm sure you could see in the time lapse, we put it in, realized that it was way too tall. It just looked really awkward. Um, it just, it didn't seem to fit the area. So we cut, a le or, uh, we cut three feet off of the uh, railroad tie. And now there's about nine and a half to 10 feet sticking up above before it was like, you know, 12 um so i think it looks a lot better and it took all in all about 40 or so minutes so we're gonna just keep on going one at a time Three down, just one more to go. 
pretty exciting. It's taken us about the, uh, or I guess the other, this, the second and the third one took us about 30 minutes a piece. So 30 more minutes, we should have them all done. We'll hang up the string lights and show you what it looks like. So here it is from far away. Boom, there is the fire pit. So we're gonna take all the chairs out, do a little raking on the inside, make it look pretty again. And then we'll hang up the string lights and pretty much be done. Eventually we are gonna get some kind of gravel uh, to finish out the inside of the pit. Uh, that way we're not walking around on sand, but for now it's just sand. So it's looking good. All right, here's a close up look. Still don't have the string lights up yet, but raked in the middle, a couple chairs, tiki torches, fire pit, which we've already used a whole lot. So now we'll just get up there and hang string lights. Alrighty, here is the finished product. Um, we were only able to get three sides with the string lights. So as you approach it, there's not gonna be any lights here. So you'll kind of walk in and then the three walls will have lights. Um, it's just kind of how the length worked out on these ones. So don't know if maybe one day we'll change it. Um, they are solar paneled or solar powered, excuse me. So the solar power, golly, I can't talk. Solar panels up there. So the only thing we need, we need to do is just uh, put some gravel or something in there. And, and matching chairs. And yeah, and some matching chairs. <laughs> um, and then it'll be all done. So it's definitely time for a bonfire tonight. All right, so as all DIYers do, we are gonna repurpose these four uh, pieces of wood that we cut off of the railroad ties. Let me hop around here. So these are all three, uh, three foot pieces that we cut off the end of each railroad tie. So we're gonna turn this into a table that we will then put here. So whenever we're out here barbecuing, we can do our prep work and all that stuff. And uh, it'll all match because the legs will be railroad ties. So we're gonna get started on that. Okay, so it's not 100% uh, done, but it is standing. So here's our little recycled railroad, rail, railroad tie uh, tabletop. The top pieces were also recycled, just stuff that got left behind from the previous owners. And it's just gonna sit right next to this. So 
while we're out hanging out, having some drinks and cooking food and stuff, we'll have a nice little prep table. And I think it looks pretty cool and it's all recycled. Okay, so had to uh, take off for a couple minutes and go uh, take care of something. So during that time, my dad finished the table that we were working on. Um, and pretty much the whole fire pit area is it's complete so i'll flip this around show you what the table looks like uh you know up close and then show you the fire pit and then after that it'll be time to enjoy it so tonight we're going to spark up a fire probably cook a couple burgers and stuff and uh, just relax enjoy the night so let me flip it around all right so here is a look at the table uh it is fully built the only thing we might do is just take a torch to it um, you know, some of those pieces of, uh, two by four that we cut are kind of a little bit off colored and, you know, looks a little bit more fresh. So we might take a torch to it. So it all kind of darkens up and matches. And of course that's good for weatherproofing, but it's pretty easy. Uh, just the four railroad ties, some two by fours. They're actually like two by fives, uh, that were left behind in the barn. And these are about two and a half by tens on the top. So it's fully recycled, just a couple braces, one big brace in the middle, and it is uh, eight feet long by 30 inches wide. So it's a pretty big table. Definitely, I mean, you can see that, uh, that kind of container down there. That's a big bottle of Tiki torch oil. So it shows you how big it is. Here, I'll drop my gloves on there. That's an pair of extra large gloves so anyways it's a cool table it was totally free to build other than just a couple screws and stuff so it complements the new and improved fire pit area quite well okay um you're gonna have to excuse the wind noise unfortunately i don't have a uh, microphone with me um, i'm trying to do my best to stand uh, with my back against the wind so that it's not too loud but anyways uh, we just went ahead and got this rock delivered so this is the final stage of the fire pit area um, so it's just kind of a uh, nice clean smooth type of rock so that way when we're walking around barefoot and stuff you know it's a little bit more pleasant and you're not actually getting dirty feet so just got a load delivered right there and then the other load you can't see it's over there my dad's gonna put it under his patio but we'll spread this out and show you what it looks like and then after that fire pit's done so let me uh, get to it so uh, the only thing we've done differently since last time is just added the uh, gravel into the bottom of the pit just to avoid having dirt as the primary thing to walk on. You know, that stuff is like silt, so it just gets your feet nasty, gets your shoes nasty, gets the dogs nasty. So we got a load of this uh, nice kind of smoothened out uh, river rock pretty much uh, got delivered and that lines the whole bottom. Now it is done, ready for enjoying.